Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lollies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which is all about um, how I budget manage my planner sticker addiction. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly what I'll call the series just yet, um, but I'm sure you'll see the title and everything what I've decided to call it, but most likely just kind of like a budget planning 101 kind of thing um, and everything on just what I do to kind of manage my sticker collection and my sticker addiction. Like, you know, the questions of do I really need 500 kits? <laughs> Will I actually use them all? And for me, the answer is yes, because of the way that I kind of set things up. Now, I don't need 500 kits or anything, but um, you know, we do need, how many weeks are in a year? I just had the number and then I lost it again. I mean, you need, you know, a kit a week, right? Unless you get a larger kit that can be split between multiple weeks, which I also sometimes do. Um, I'll have kit leftovers that I then use for another week. Um, and I specifically split it up that way. So, um, that I don't like overuse, um, anything like that. So, sorry something came up on my screen above me um and then so yeah so basically I want to I've kind of touched on this before let me just flip over to the page um and show you guys kind of well, where we're starting um but this is my b6 planner you guys may have seen it if you've watched my plan with me's and my memory plan with me's um this is my aura style b6 and this is where I do all of my weekly um, I was doing functional weeklies in here. I am now doing memory planning weeklies in here. Um, I think this was my first week of memory planning. Um, so it's, I've kind of changed my dynamic a little bit of how I use my B6, but not of how I budget for what I need in my B6. Um, so obviously one of the biggest pieces is buying kits, right? Like they can be really expensive sometimes depending on what shops you go to. Um, so it's all about stretching them out and making sure you're using what you're buying, um, right? Not just hoarding. Um, and believe me, I hoard. I, I have, um, a huge collection, which I have stacked up right here. Um, these three binders that I have right here are all my, I'll zoom you out a little bit, these three binders here are all my kits and everything, but it's not just filled with kits. I mean, my most full one would be my Anytime kits, um, and I've kind of shown this before, my sticker organization. So I have Anytime kits, my, my Wizarding World kits, my fandom kits, so I mean, they're all kind of thick as well, so it makes it look huge. Um, but so like these are kits kind of like, you know, um, so I'm like, I had a plan for this video and now I'm all over the place. So basically this is where I start, right? Like I buy kits and I sort them into different categories. Is it an anytime, a fandom, wizarding world, whatever it goes in here. Um, I then am like, okay, is it a spring kit? Is it a summer kit? Is it fall? Is it winter? Um, and see, these are kits that I've used some parts of it before um it's so like this one here would be an example of one that i've used and then plan to use for a second week um and then this one here is my holidays so is it a spring holiday is it a summer holiday um i've obviously since spring and summer are here i've kind of already planned those out and then fall holidays winter holidays so i kind of break it down in that way to help me visuals visually see what i've got in the easiest way possible and the best way to store them um to you know protect them and everything else um but where i start really is here um and so for planning them out right like i go on and i see a kit i like and i buy it sometimes i buy before i look here and that's my impulse buying or like i just really want that kit because it's a fandom kit of some kind like the bridgerton kits i've bought three of them i did not need three but i love bridgerton and i see myself potentially using those um over the next few years as a series because it is supposed to have multiple seasons the show is um and potentially I could use them for other things too so you know i think about things like that when i'm buying the kits um and i don't 
allow myself to just buy kits to buy kits. Um, I am obsessed with Scribble Prince Co, Sticker Guru, and Sadie stickers um, are my three favorites. And I don't buy every single kit that comes out for them. I allow myself to not buy every single kit. I'm like, I don't need it. Um, I allow myself to buy the ones I really, really like and are really drawn to. Like, oh my gosh, it's really pretty. I really just want that and I will find a week to use it. And so that's kind of where I'm at when I actually go on and purchase or look at new releases. Um, and I think with this system, it's put me into that groove. So I'm doing this for almost a year now that I don't, um, I don't impulse buy anymore. I don't find myself needing every sticker. Um, when it comes to character stickers, that's another story. Um, and like script stickers and things like that, that's definitely another story. Uh, but when it comes to kits, at least I'm in this set place of, I really don't need so many kits because I have so many kits already. Um, I think in the very beginning I was definitely like, oh my gosh, I need to buy, 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 buy because I don't have anything. But now like once I was in a set place where I have my binders, I know I have kits. I just need to go through them and pick out what I'm going to use. And that's where this comes in. So these are from, I think this is, yeah, just sending a printables. Um, and this is the goals 2021. And like I said, I've done a video, I think on this before, um, but not just strictly on this, I think. So I kind of just wanted to go over how I'm doing it and, and just go over it again, um, and everything and kind of, you know, if things have changed or anything like that for how I do it, which I think maybe like here and there things have changed, but, um, so this is a goal sheet. So basically, um, the first couple of pages look like this. It's just broken down, you know, over all 12 months and then you get like a little writing section and then you see the actual um breakdown in the are the little month piece so you can see the days of the month and then it goes into like a weekly kind of section so you get five spaces in case there's five weeks um for every single month so it's kind of like undated on this part which i really like um in that case because if i decide like i want technically like this week could be you know the last week of july could be the you know last week of july or the first week of august um depending on how i want to set it up and so that kind of gives me that freedom if i decide you know there will be five weeks of july or whatever um for how i plan out my um everything and then of course um i have uh, or at the back there is some grid paper and I did create like a need to buy list which actually I need to check some of those things off because I'm already good to go um so what I did earlier before I filmed this video was I did go through for the summer months and pick out everything um that I need uh or pick out all of my kits to use throughout all of these weeks so um as you can see, like January, February, March, April, and May, I did already um, kind of do that. So we'll we'll kind of look at that. So basically in June, what I use this page for, sorry, I'm like, feel like I'm jumping around everywhere. <laughs> uh, so much information. Um, so for, for each of these, what I do is I basically say, okay, I need a monthly kit, which actually now I don't do monthly, so I, I don't need monthly kits anymore, um, but, um, I need, you know, there's four weeks. I look at the little calendar thing. I decide, okay, there's going to be four weeks for me in January. You know, the, the 31st will be a part of February. Um, and so then, you know, those are the four weeks that I need to, I need four kits basically, or I need four weeks worth of kits. Um, I don't think in this year I have used any kits for multiple weeks in a month. Um, sometimes I do do that. Um, I did that. I don't have last year's, um, but I did that for last year when I first started planning. There were kits where I used them um, twice in a month um, because I just really liked them and they really carried over well into another week um, and everything. So if I get larger kits, um, and since I'm in a B6, I don't really buy larger kits. I tend to try to stick to B6 kits for budgeting, um, but sometimes if you really, really enjoy an SPC kit and you want the ultimate and it's, you know, got all these stickers, well, then you can use it for multiple weeks um, and easily use that like two in a month. So um, that might be where I might use a, an SPC kit twice in one month or something like that. Um, but so what I do is then go in and I, okay, I say, okay, there's four 
weeks in January and then I go through all of my winter kits or holiday I see okay is there a holiday in January um is there something going on in January that I want to specifically mark and I go through all of my current kits like go through through those three binders and I pull everything out that I might want to use during the month of January um and usually I do it by season so like I said I just did the summer months June July and August um, so I did do uh, January, February, along with December, and then March, April, May um, is what I did for spring. So I just go through and pick out all my spring kits or all my summer kits. Um, and any, you know, I look at, again, like I said, holidays, um, you know, 4th of July, Father's Day for summer, um, all of those, uh, Harry Potter's birthday, like what do I want to mark? What kind of special events are coming up that I know about? Um, so far and pull all of that stuff out and then I go through and I look at okay June what four kits do I want to use in June okay so Father's Day is in June so I need a Father's Day kit I got a Father's Day kit so there we go now that's gonna be you know one one week worth of kit that I use in June and then I have Moon Princess down and that's because um Sailor Moon Eternal is coming out um, during June. So I was like, okay. So I use my Moon Princess kit that I already had from Sticker Guru um, because she came out with that, oh, I think several months ago they came out with that. Um, and so yeah, so I was like, okay. And then, you know, I really wanted to use my Freedom kit and then a Sweet Peach with, you know, good vibes. So I was like, okay, those are the four kits I want to use in June. So then I go over to my actual, to this side. So then in this side is where I lay out exactly what kit I'm going to use each week. So then I number the weeks. So week one of June is when Sailor Moon Eternal is coming out. So I want to use that Moon Pr Princess kit. And then the second week I decided on Sweet Peach. And the third week was Father's Day was during the third week of June. So that's where I'm going to use my Father's Day kit. And then I decided that week four I would use Freedom because then it goes into July. And so then same thing. I grabbed all my, you know, I picked out the kits I wanted to use in July. And I wrote them all down in here. Not really in a particular order or anything, just kind of wrote them down. And then I went over here and was like, okay, so then this is when I'm going to use them. Then I break it down by each week. So you could say, you know, you could see a kit and say, ooh, I love that kit for August. Or that's giving me September vibes. I want to use it in September. And then I would, you know, see that and then say, okay, order it. And then I would write it down here and put down, you know, I'm going to use this kit for September. And then when I go to plan for September, I'll pull those kits out and I'll look at it and I'll come to this page and I'll say, okay, so I want to use that kit then. I want to use it the third week of September because I'm going to use this kit the second week and that kit the fifth and that kit the first. And so that's kind of helps me break it all down. It also, and then every season me coming in and pre-planning all of my kits for all of the months also helps me see if I need to buy more kits. Um, and what I discovered was my guessing, back here you saw my little buy list, my guess was that I was going to need three summer kits. But actually, because of, you know, Harry Potter, Father's Day, like all of the, the things that I wanted to mark, um, Moon Princess, um, they're using Moon Princess for Sailor Moon Eternal that actually cut it down and I just need one kit for the last week of August at this point. I went through and decided when I wanted to use those um, and then I've now realized okay so I just really need a week four kit for August that's it so now when I see all these summer kids I get to be picky I get to tell myself okay you get one and then now I get to pick this one and pick like the one I really really like and I can even wait. I, you know, it's all the way in August. I've already got June and July down. I don't have to order it maybe until June or July um, for the August. And it's for the end of August too. So I can wait and hold out and then look at all the summer kits and be like, which one's my favorite? Like, which one's my top, my number one? Um, and then get that kit and then bam, I use it. And then all my summer kits are used or most all of my summer kits are used. So then come next summer, then I get to buy a whole bunch if I want. Um, but this way, like, it kind of opens up and gives me that freedom. And then maybe if there is a few, 
um, that come out this year, like maybe there's a top three um, and I can't decide on just one. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna order all three and then I know I have two for next year already that I already really, really love. And then I could pick one of those um, and then the third one I'll you know, picked for August. So I also kind of opened myself up to those thoughts too. I was like, okay, I know I'm using up all my summer kits. So that lets me buy summer kits now that I really, really like for next year. Or I can just wait till next year and see what new stuff comes out and then fill it, you know, fill up my summer with those. Um, so it gives, it takes away that guilt, right? Of like, I know I have this huge collection and I know I probably already own like 30 summer kits, but here I am still buying more summer kits. Well, now I know, well, no, I do have this huge collection, but I'm going to use it. And so now I do need more summer kits. Um, so I think it kind of just like re, you know, it confirms in my mind that I don't have to be guilty buying summer kits. Um, but I also don't need to buy 30 at once. You know, I maybe a couple, like I said, you know, a few if I really, really like them for next year and then one for August and then, you know, I don't have to feel guilty about it at all. Um, and I don't feel like I'm hoarding. <laughs> um, because for me, like the best part of buying the stickers is using them, is putting them down and taking pictures of them. And that's my favorite part and doing the plan with me is with you guys. Um, and so I want to use my stickers. I don't want to hoard them, but I want to hoard them at the same time, right? Like, cause I'm like, wait, what if I want to use this another week? Or what if something else comes up and it's more perfect for this kit? Um, so, you know, I do have those moments for sure, obviously, but um, this definitely keeps me centered and makes me less anxious as well. Um, when I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, do I have enough summer kits? Do I have too many summer kits? I know exactly what I have. Um, and that really, really gives me some peace of mind and everything else. Um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be, I think that's basically, oh no, I wanted to share with you guys. So final step of, um, my, of this whole thing is then I do have this Simply Gilded, um, album. If you've watched my sticker storage, you've probably seen this one before, but this is where I store holidays, um, or like calendar type ones. I actually might move these now that I'm not doing monthlies anymore. Um, but I have like, you know, my date covers and date dots, date dots and like monthly things. I have my date extenders, but the meat of this is these are the kits that I'll be using. So this is the kit that I'll be using for the last week of May. And then we get into June. So here we go. So June, so Moon Princess, Sweet Peach, Father's Day, and then my Freedom Kit, and then 4th of July, and then Collab Kit, Rising Tide, my Birthday Kit Explore, and then Auto Loop, and then we're going right into August. And then here we go. Then I have empty ones, and this will be September. Um, and then this is the last week of August and then I have room for my September kits once I start looking at fall kits And then I do have this one back here because it's the last week of September. I'm going to be using this um, Park Hopper kit because I think it's the perfect way to mark the 50th anniversary and how much I wish I was I was there celebrating um, but you know uh, so so yeah um, so I love this too because then also, when I go to plan, I'm not digging through my binders. I'm not looking for this kit that I wrote down. I already have pulled it based on this that I did in here. I pull them out and then I put them in order. And then all I have to do is come and the first one on top is the one I use. And then that, that'll be empty. So then I know, okay, no, this is the next one. And then after like a month, I'll shift them all forward again. And then if I have, you know, my fall kits in, my September kits in, then I'll start putting those in. Um, but I feel like this just gives me, um, I've talked about my anxiety like a little bit. I think this just give that, this whole system gives me peace of mind. Um, I don't get, you know, guilt. I don't, you know, shopping guilt. I don't, um, I don't worry about like, oh my gosh, what kit am I going to use next week? I already know it's already set up. It's already there, ready to go. And I just dive in and do my plan with me. And it's really, really nice. So I hope this helps out. I hope this gives you guys some inspiration or some ideas or um, just let you know that you're not the only one who's crazy about stickers and is so hyper organized <laughs> about it. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys. Oh, comment, like, subscribe if you did enjoy. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.